Hello, Arnold. Hey, I see the late night beer bash is a big success. But don't forget, in the morning, you got a conference of below 60 IQ YouTubers. And if you're late, your career is toast. There's no time for the toilet. You gotta hold it, buddy. The bladder comfortably holds 150 to 200 milliliters of fluid. But after 400 to 500 milliliters, you'll feel some pressure. You must have drunk a lot. Eee, looks like the boss is in a bad mood. And for sure, he ain't gonna let anyone take bathroom breaks. Fluid is absorbed into the kidneys, then descends through the ureter into the bladder. You're probably feeling a bit stressed, Arno, because now you gotta hold the pee in with your muscles. I recommend you don't laugh, Arnold, or sneeze, or cough. Anything like that weakens the muscles, and you might start leaking. Hooray! Break time! You're saved! The average person goes tinkle six to eight times a day. Ooh, no luck there, Arnold. In ancient times, rules of decency allowed people to go wee-wee in public, and the division of toilets into men's and ladies only occurred in 1792. Okay, break's over, buddy. Now it's your turn to give your presentation. If you hold it in for a long time, the bladder walls can stretch, so you can hold even more PP. But this can be dangerous. Bacteria and acids in your urine can crawl back up into your kidneys, causing cystitis and pyelonephritis. It seems, Arnold, that everyone approves of your dissatisfaction with company policy. Come on, Arnold. I know you can hold it a little longer. Just 50 more talks and then you're free. Well, that's it. Time to go home. And Arnold, I advise you not to make any sudden movements. If your bladder is that full, it could pop. Yay, you're almost home. Now we just have to get through the morning rush hour. Move slowly. Oh no, it seems your neighbor's coming, Arnold. You know, the guy who likes to give everyone a big hug when they meet. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> so, what gender are you, Arnold? Sex is determined in three ways. The first one is predominance of certain hormones in the body, estrogen in girls, and testosterone in guys. The second way is genetic. If you're a guy, then you have XY chromosome. If you're a girl, then XX. And the third one is gender. This is how you feel. Gender is not an innate thing, but a definition acquired throughout life. Oh, now you decide to update your wardrobe. Now your inner state is the same as your outer state. But your terrible sense of style is here to stay. Your life is gonna change drastically. You can be a man who's able to get pregnant. For example, how it was done by a married couple from Oregon, Tristan and Beth. By the way, the first man who got pregnant was also from Oregon. Oregon, hello, what's going on with you? Wow, Susie is paying attention to you. Arnold, you're lucky, but don't forget that you already look like a girl, but still behave like a typical guy. Great, your dream has finally come true. You and Susie together at last. Whoopsie daisy, we have some guests here. And looks like one of the guys likes you, Arnold. Ooh. Oh, false alarm. The guys turned out to be safe for you. But Susie's looking at you somewhat suspiciously. Is she? It doesn't matter how you look. The main thing is what you feel inside. So you don't need to divide everyone into masculine and feminine and pink and blue. Love is for everyone. Hey, when did you manage to get to the seaside? So, what's the whole beach set for anyway? Ah, is this to get Bertha's attention? Wow, it actually worked. She invited you to visit her. But, hey buddy, do you have enough money for a ticket? 
I have an idea. You can fly to Bertha in extra super duper economy class. And instead of the usual tablet and pillow, you're gonna need food, water, and a porta potty. Don't worry, Arnold. You're not the first one to travel like this. Reginald Reg Spears, without any money, got all the way to another continent in just three days. Nowadays, warehouses are like cities with their own laws and regulations. The probability of losing a package is reduced to a minimum. Robots work on the conveyors by reading special barcodes. This reduces the risk of human error. In 2019, China set a world delivery record with 345 million packages delivered in just one day. The worst thing that can happen to a package is that it can get detained in a port at customs. I agree. For the person inside, this ain't like staying at the Ritz. Finding yourself in a confined space under the blazing hot sun is a difficult task to endure. Arnold, hang on, little buddy. It's just a little longer now. To be precise, 23 days, 17 hours, and 45 minutes. And a person is not the most amazing thing ever delivered in a package. An entire bank was transported this way. It was dismantled and sent to another city. Welcome to Australia, Arnold. One of the benefits of traveling by package is courier delivery right to the final destination point. Bertha will be here any minute. Wow, what a babe. Arnold, are you ready? Good look for you, Arnold. She definitely won't forget you like that. <laughs> I love to wake him up when he's sleeping so sweetly. Get up, lazy butt! I have something for you, Arnold. You now have just 24 hours to live. I think you should Google what to do in such a situation. Yeah. First, clear your browser history. And here are the top three answers to this burning question. How would you spend the last day of your life with loved ones? I think for you, Arnold, this probably ain't the right answer. The second option is to gorge yourself on junk food. Well, you already do that every day. And finally, number three, spend the day at the ocean with a loved one. Ooh, it just got interesting. Arnold, are you really gonna do what you've been dreaming of all your life? Whoopsie daisy, somebody ran out of gas and money. money, money, money. Great idea, you can get a loan and really live it up on your last day. Get the maximum, you'll feel like the richest dude on the planet. Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon, makes enough money to buy a new Tesla Model S every 50 seconds. You're rich now, Arnold. You can rent your own plane and fly anywhere you want. What are you up to? Wow, you're gonna take Tagaya from her boyfriend and take her on a trip with you. Arnold, you're my hero. Ah, if only we could turn back time and make this moment really last. What if I told you it's possible to keep the day from ending? You need to overtake the sun. To do this, we gotta fly west along the equator at a speed of 1,667 kilometers per hour. If you can fly at that speed, the day will never end. Regrettably, this won't affect your lifetimer in the slightest. It's your last few seconds, Arnold. You're alive! Ah, I see. According to the contract you signed, you have no right to die until you pay off the loan. Stop watching Netflix and stop texting Susie. She's not gonna answer you anyway. Come on. No way! Are you finally gonna meet her? Ha <laughs> ha! What a maroon! You're seriously depressed, buddy.
The World Health Organization estimates that depression affects 300 million people worldwide. That's about 4% of the global population. Depression occurs due to a deficit of neurotransmitters in the brain, serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Without these natural chemicals, favorite activities stop being pleasurable and colors turn gray. And all of this can end very tragically. So just don't do something stupid, Arnie. Arnold, you have millions of fans on YouTube. Why do you need all this? Come to me, buddy. I'll give you a big hug. Depression isn't just a change in mood. It's a real illness. To treat it, you most definitely need to consult a doctor, preferably a psychiatrist. Antidepressants can help you, but be careful. Some are addictive. Start going to the gym. Believe it or not, exercise is one of the best ways to reduce symptoms of depression. And change your diet. Eat more dark chocolate, seafood, nuts, and fruits. Meet with your friends. You can get a pet and take it for walks in the park. Now that everything's stabilized in your nervous system and your hormones of happiness have returned to normal levels, the world sparkles with new colors. And now that you're in better physical shape, girls have even started checking you out, buddy. Is that Susie? She's ready to meet you. Quick, answer her and tell her you're just standing here like an ignoramus. Oh, no. Not again. Please help my poor buddy Arnold. You can give him some likes. For Arnie, it's the best cure for what ails him. I, I, I can't watch this. I'm out. Today is your last day. Just like for 684,000 people every year from falling from a great height. Or due to a medical error, it's the third leading cause of death in the U.S. after heart disease and cancer. What the bejeebus? You got hit by an electric scooter. How ridiculous. Your senses begin to fail. Vision, smell, taste, and finally hearing. You, buddy, are dead. After cardiac arrest, you have six minutes before complete brain death. This time frame increases with anabiosis or hypothermia. One girl survived after six hours of clinical death. She lay in ice with a body temperature of 64 degrees, and it saved her life. But nothing's gonna help you now, buddy. In a minute, you've lost 10% of your oxygen. Oh, and your wallet. Your heart has stopped pumping blood, and blood clots are starting to form. However, your brain is now working more actively than it ever has before. An 87-year-old man was undergoing an electroencephalogram when he suddenly had a heart attack. 15 seconds before death, the EEG detected special brain waves in his head. Such waves occur while dreaming or during meditation. Therefore, at the time of your death, you really might recall your entire life. Arnold, right now you have 12 times more dopamine than usual and 20 times more serotonin. That's why you're experiencing a most vivid dream. During clinical death, only 15% of people experience something terrifying. The rest see the faces of family members, animals or plants, past events, or even the classic white light. By the way, Thomas Edison's last words were, it's very beautiful over there. Hey, that's happened before. I'm guessing you're going to be stuck here for a while. And you'll have to survive without any food at all. Try to imagine your Angus Barbieri, a man who didn't eat anything for over a year. Shocking doctors. He lived a normal life, going to the toilet just once every 40 days. At the end of his fast, he weighed 180 pounds having lost 275 pounds. After 12 hours of fasting, you turn pale and weak, but a fat person feels better because they have fat tissue reserves. At this time, dizziness sets in, and an unpleasant smell comes from the mouth. Oh, Arnold, there's water here. See, Arnie, always look on the bright side of life. Fasting can serve good purposes. Gandhi fasted for three weeks in protest against the caste system in India. Christian Bale lost 66 pounds for his role in The Machinist. And medieval monks fasted to hear the voice of God. Like if you wouldn't last a single day. Unlike a person's mind, on the fourth day, the body accepts hunger as a given. During this time, a sharp loss of weight is observed, along with weakness. 
the body always needs food. So when it's not there, it has to use fat and muscle tissue. This releases ketones, which are extremely harmful to the body. Headaches and weakness develop. And in the worst cases, there's vomiting with gastric juice, confusion, and even death. After two weeks, you'll have a constant feeling that you're cold. Your consciousness often becomes cloudy, and you don't understand what you're doing. Oh, Arnie, here comes help. Not quite what you expected, but anyway, Arnie, buddy, you're saved. 